Hey everyone, Courant here welcoming you back to Wild Arms. In the last episode, we made our way through a couple of dungeons actually. The Heaven's Corridor, where we picked up a new ability for Cecilia, and now we're here at the end of the Gemini's Course, where we picked up a new arm for Rudy, which was the Phaser, and fought some minis, picked up treasures, and that sort of thing. Now, before you go further here, it'd be a good idea to heal up and get everything ready, because, uh, <laughs> semi-spoiler alert, well, we've got some trouble coming our way. Specifically, when we pick up the Gemini circuit here, we find ourselves a big nasty guardian, and hello there, sweetheart. Welcome to the Mech Drake. Ooh, a big old dragon, yay. Although I'm really not sure what happened to the guy's wings. Anyhow, uh, go after him as you normally would. So I'm going to apply Jack to, actually I'll give a time or two to see if I can learn this fast draw here. And then have Cecilia on, I don't remember how fast this guy is, so I'm gonna default to slowing him down first. And fast draw failure number one, I suppose. <laughs> anyway get him slowed down, and yeah, that'll confirm it, okay. So, there you go, and I guess we didn't really need to do that much anyway, but, oh, that could be bad. No, no, don't silence this, you silly thing. And, well, Rudy's silence, which is not a big deal. Jack is silence, which is a big deal. Let's see, what do I have equipped on everybody? Okay, well, now that we know that's a problem, uh... If it ends up, if he uses this a lot, I may go ahead and put full Libra on Cecilia, but for now, I think I'm going to leave it aside. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to build up some force with Rudy because I want to be using, well, we haven't actually shown off his super focus attack yet, so we will do that. Alright, let's see, Violet Rose for you, there we go, and alright, since we've got to slow down, Let's, uh, let's go ahead and toss a couple of protects on here, just to make sure that we don't have any real issues as far as that goes, at least. Although, we haven't seen an uh, actual, an official attack from him yet. We will, of course, in short order. Oh, that's not too bad at all, actually. Laser Breath, ooh, okay. On one it character, and it didn't hit all that hard, so <laughs> big whoop to do I guess. I think I will default to using the phaser outside of battle or outside of his force abilities, and then I will use the rocket launcher whenever we get Rudy's force abilities all the way up. All right, now that you're done with that, uh, let's go ahead and let's give this one more try, and then I'll default to Magnum Fang from there. All right, another round of Protect, I think, from Cecilia, and we should pretty decently be good to go, I think. I can start deprotecting and debuffing the boss, and then everything should be kosher, I think. Hello, Phaser, and another, well, not quite as much as last time. <laughs> Laser Breath on Rudy, this shouldn't be too bad. And well, a little bit worse, actually. I guess it classifies as a magic attack. But now, for the first time, we get to see Fury Shot. And yes, Rocket Launcher all the way, folks. Alright, let's see. For you, I'm going to do Magnum Fang now. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can toss a Deep Protect on Mech Drake before Rudy hits with that force enhanced rocket launcher just to see how well it does and that didn't do too bad actually come on work deep protect work yes good <laughs> now you get to see fury shot and you see the red reticle this time and a much more powerful ooh, very much more powerful attack <laughs> that is part of why i keep that force unit on rudy yeah he could get a little bit better defense with his left hand implements, I guess. But that really works better because you want to use that attack a lot and you want to have the force necessary for it, of course. That obviously very much helps. All right, let's see. Go ahead and use another Magnum Fang. And I think I will start, let's see, where's Hulk Smash? There you are. I will Hulk Smash Jack first and then Rudy. You, you see, this is really, I mean, we haven't seen a whole lot from this guy. He's honestly, not all that hard. I'm not really having much trouble with him at all, and that was after he tried to silence everybody the first time. <laughs> Resonance wave, oh, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, and then I go and open my big mouth. Eh. Well, not insurmountable, but also not the best thing in the world either. Okay, well, anyway, that'll get Cecilia onto the healing train, I think. 
Yeah. And actually, if we last one more turn, I'll be able to show you dual cast, which... Actually, no, let's not do that. I have the love rune on her. Let's do high guardian love rune. <laughs> because it will heal and kick butt at the same time if this doesn't kill him first. And it didn't, so we get to see Raftina in her, I guess, uh, super form. And a big wave of ta da I guess. And we get to see healing and 5,000 damage, so pretty nice. Wow, it actually missed, huh? Okay, anyway, pretty nice attack from her. Not so great from Rudy, but oh well, that's okay. Rudy is, ah, doggone, he's almost got Fury Shot. Well, just goes to show you that 85% can, in fact, miss every once in a while. But once you get the phaser upgraded to its top, it is pretty much a confirm. <coughs> excuse me, a confirmed hit. It's right, you throat stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've got... I don't see this guy lasting for more than really one or two more turns. Especially after I Hulk smash Rudy. <laughs> and if we do have another turn, you notice Rudy is ready with another complete force lock-on. So... If he does not last... Wow, he's still alive. Holy crap. Resonance Wave, which means healing with Cecilia next time. I gotta admit, I'm a little... <clears throat> I'm a little surprised the guy's still around, honestly. Uh, I thought he'd be dead by now. But, oh well. Rocket Launcher to the... Well, wrong parts, I guess. Magnum Fang and another bit of healing from Cecilia, and we should be very much good to go. Yep, there we are. Haha. <laughs> Dead, Mech Drake. Ta-ta! See you later! Fly off into the afterlife and say hi to all the... Well, everybody else for us, I guess. <laughs> so, not too bad, actually. 6,000 experience, and I forgot to use the lucky card. Doggone it. Oh, well. Eh, there will be other opportunities. And Rudy levels up, and 7,000 Gela, which is fairly nice, except I forgot to use the lucky card. Darn it. This must be one of the Gemini circuits that Professor Emma is looking for. If we can get two of these Gemini circuits, Emma can complete the Proto Wing. Let's get back to Edelhide. Maybe our good captain and his gang have found the second Gemini circuit. Well, we can only hope, but hey, at least we've got ours. And nicely, we've got a portal that we can just step into and get the heck out of here. Which, I mean, not overly necessary. I mean, we have escaped, but eh, you know, still works anyway. Uh, if you want to grab the jewels there, then, of course, you know, you can do that. Actually, now that I think about it, this is not the beginning of the dungeon, so let's go ahead and use Escape. Now, if you've gotten everything out of this place, you're really not going to need the jewels, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you want to collect, collect some of them just to collect them, I guess, that's, of course, your call. But, in essence, with all of that, we're done, so we can go ahead and make our way back to Edelhide. And, of course, that is a short, nice little plane ride away. So, I guess while I'm flying there, I will say uh, we're getting to a pretty pivotal point in this game. Uh, this is where the story is going to begin turning a lot, actually, as we get into the next dungeon. So, I guess hold on to your hats. We, uh, we've got a pretty, pretty bumpy and pretty fun ride coming. So, if you've been watching so far, then... First of all, of course, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And, well, <laughs> stay tuned. All right, a couple of things I do want to do before we actually move on and talk to Emma. Of course, I do want to get myself refilled and restocked and re and re -that. So, I mean, there's not really too terribly much compelling to say about all of that stuff. But there are a couple of other things I do want to check on as we head up. You notice we got a pretty fair amount of money, although... Eh, again, darn lucky card. But, we're still doing pretty well as far as money's concerned. Now, the first thing I want to do is... You remember that black pass we picked up in the dungeon? Where... Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, I missed it because it's a light-up thing. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Now, you might be wondering, where the heck do you take that? Well, actually, it is here. Book entitled Basic Fighting. You hit no, there's a slot to insert something. Which, of course, is Yon Black Pass. We get a staircase, and we get a third shop. <laughs> Welcome, what can I do for you? Well, I want to buy new weapons and new armor, which, as you see, is pretty darn expensive. But you also have potion berries, which are nice, masangas, which I never use, so don't worry about it, and goat dolls. 
Now, you don't generally need these all that much for a general, yeah, just everyday sort of stuff. But there is one dungeon coming up at the end of the game where these suckers will come very much in handy, so you might want to think about picking some of them up. I will let you know when that time comes, if you're playing through, or if you just want to know, I guess. I will let you know, because I will likely be doing that myself. So, anyway, at this rate, let's go ahead and buy some stuff, shall we? <laughs> go ahead and... Yes, equip, equip, equip. And, of course, once I get done buying everything, I will flash up the mystic information for Cecilia, because, you know, it's always nice to have that. Again, if you are playing through and you use that mystic stuff a little bit more than I do, which I don't generally, then of course you'll have it to bear there. So I'll go ahead and post it up now that all the menus are down and all that resin jazz. Alright, so now we don't have nearly as much money. <laughs> but of course, uh, we'll sell stuff later. I'll probably sell stuff off camera because I just, I don't want to bore you guys with that. Another thing you can check on while you're in here is the whole Edelhide Restoration Committee finger my job. So, run up here, and we'll talk to the guy. Uh, okay, we don't need it. Alright, well, I guess we have to wait until plots move a little bit further, I suppose. One other thing I'll check up on. Those secret tools that we found in the L Dimension, you can give them to Tom, but uh, apparently we can't give it to him yet. I thought we could earlier, and I thought we could now, but we still can't. So, let's run up here and go and see about talking to Emma, because we need to let her know that we got those doggone Gemini circuits, and she's not there. Huh. Alright, where are you, Emma? Left for the castle. Okay. Yeah, I guess I should have assumed that she was still there. Go, me, and... Would you quit running into me? Or running across my path, or however you want to put it, I guess. At any rate... Here we are, and okay, we get to automatically talk to her. So, we got one of the Gemini circuits already. We can get to work as soon as we have the other one. And then right on cue... Professor Emma, I have an immor important message. We received a transmission from the team on the sweet candy. Continue. One Gemini circuit found, returning to base. Oh, well, that's good news. Oh boy, we can start the work soon. And okay, we get another one. This is sweet candy. Mayday, Mayday, under attack, requesting backup. Uh-oh. This is happening at the worst possible time. That, yeah, definitely not good. Alright, well, there's everybody, I guess. Oh, uh-oh. And everybody promptly goes nuts. Gee whiz! What the hell is that? That is a really good question. Just as we found one of the Gemini circuits. We get this! Do you have any special weapons or something? This is a trade ship, not the USS Missouri! Wow! Break that fourth wall game! You can definitely tell that was an English add-in because why would the Japanese talk about the Missouri? You haven't got a clue, have you? This is a game! Speaking of fourth wall breaking, you should always carry a special weapon! Yeah, you tell them, Jane! Huh. Oh. Whoa! Grab onto me! No, dog god way! They still seem pretty close though. My poor ship, the sweet candy. She's sinking! All hands, abandon ship! Oh, and oh boy. So well, there goes the sweet candy. Oh, uh, you've served us well, my dear. Bon voyage, and down into the depths of Davy Jones' locker you go. And I guess the Guardian Circuit with it. Jeez, I'm drenched! Hey, don't look at me! Hey, hey. What happened? The ship is gone. Did you get the Gemini circuit? Is it okay? Uh-oh. What a horrific creature. A stone mermaid. I'm sorry. We were too busy getting away from the monster. 
the Gemini circuit is probably at the bottom of the end of the MSC by now. So the proto-wing upgrade will... I am deeply sorry. We must get back to Adelheid so we can regroup our thoughts. No! My sweet candy! Rest in peace! Okay, that's probably a little over dramatic for that, but sorry. So we lost the ship, and we lost the Gemini circuit, and well... Ugh. So the other Gemini circuit is at the bottom of the sea. My poor sweet candy! Ah! This is so frustrating! Does this mean that all our efforts were for nothing? Even McDolan did a good job! Thank you, my lady. The Gemini circuits only work as a pair. I guess we have to give up on our idea now that the other circuit is buried deep beneath the ocean. Well, that stinks. Too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Don't give up, everyone. There must be another way. Okay. Candy. Boy, he's really obsessed. I guess I can't blame him. And everybody is kind of out of the room in despondency and frustration and utter despair. So, well, okay. Yeah, we know it's the Adelheid Council room. Shut up. Supposedly a monster carrying around a duplicator. Yeah, we kind of covered that already. I already showed you the place and everything. Alright, so then... Yeah, oh, wow, okay. Boy, everybody's just depressed. I mean, jeez. Who is that armed meister? Who does she think she is? Her strange experiments. Doesn't she ever sleep? I guess not. Well, okay, then, uh, I guess. What then are we to do? Uh, we can't find a Gemini circuit. We can't find the ship. And the... Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Now that we've opened up the Temple of Memory, everybody talks about Emiko, and of course everybody naturally knew that to begin with. Anyway, let's see if we can find something out here. Had a vision of destruction in a faraway place. Huh. Wow, okay. Ah, interesting. Ah, what do you have to say, huh? Is it true that the powers of the... Yeah, yeah, we've been exploring the, the whole time! Ride the flying... Well, dang! Okay. You people are so better informed than we are. Jeez. Ah, oh, wait. New homes. So they found new land? Does that mean we can give them money now? I get it. Doggone it, man. Sometime, I'll get to that at some point. Anyway, ah, uh, well, I guess we can just talk to people. Looking at a new growth area on the outskirts of town. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much that. Tower built by the Great Mage D. Yeah, we kind of already did that. Hey, yeah. thanks for telling me, though. Always wonder what's on the other side of the sea. Oh, well, alright. And what do you have to say? May still be some more hidden ruins in Philgaia. Look in places that are isolated and hard to get to. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, there are a couple places we can actually visit now. Or, well, we can't visit now, but we can at least look at anyway. <laughs> I discovered an L Pyramid. Yay, good for you. Okay. Pandemonium is a fort with many natural defenses. Yeah. All right, well, I've talked to enough people, and they haven't been in the slightest bit helpful about anything. At least, yeah. Now, you might be wondering... Self, how in the world do we find that other Gemini circuit, and can we find that other circuit? Well, actually, the game doesn't really mention it, and shame on them for not, but there is one thing that you can remember about anything that happens in the sea. You remember when we dealt with that ghost ship, and it wrecked, and all those treasures washed up on ship graveyard? I think we might have something, so let's go over... Ow, and run into the mountains. Let's go over to the ship, that's Rosetta Town, that is not the ship graveyard, ship graveyard is over this way, there you are, and see if, uh, maybe this will help. Oh, no, I don't want to run into a house. Alright, run up here, and go to, not the Crestcraft shop, we don't really need that right now, go to the beach, and we find, this is it, it's the other Gemini circuit. It's true. Everything eventually ends up in this area. Sometimes I don't know if we're just lucky or what. We must take this to Professor Emma. That's right. 
This makes it possible to make the proto-wing modifications. So we get the other Gemini circuit just sitting on a beach in the middle of nowhere, because, well, that's just what happens. Okay, so go ahead and make our way out of here, and we actually have some success to report. <laughs> and that's pretty much about all we're going to do in the town of Ship Graveyard ever pretty much again. So wave goodbye to Ship Graveyard, because we're never really going to see it again. Just like most of the towns in this land, we don't really visit them that much after we go to see them, except Adelheid and... Well, that's pretty much about it, I guess. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and gallivant back up here and make our way into the castle, and nobody got in my way. That's nice. And, well, ah, let me actually go back. I don't know if she's in her lab or if she's in the castle. <laughs> Sorry, I might be running around a little bit on camera and just sort of piddling, but pardon my piddling, I suppose. Wow, that actually had a little bit of alliteration to it. Hey, <laughs> hey, there you are. You found the Gemini circuit that was lost at sea? That's too good to be true. All right. Now my proto-wing will become a full-fledged gull wing before your very eyes. I just have to get some extra help and then I'll get to work. And so we get extra help, I guess. Each Gemini circuit is an energy amplifier. When combined together, they will achieve an energy level that cannot normally be generated. <laughs> it's important for even small powers to support each other. Whether it's machines or human beings, it's the same thing. And we get the spotlights again! Hooray! Who are they? Colleagues of mine. They're from all over Philgaia, or rather, Six students of Old Man Zeppet. Emma asked me to come all of a sudden. I had no idea you were making a flying machine. It was always our master's dream. This really was a sudden call. You're still a slave driver, huh, Emma? Rudy's needs are the world's needs now. Right, Emma? The Guardian's power in the southeast point is weakening. We need a vessel to take us there. We need to finish this machine before morning. I need your help to accomplish this. So she gets to be a slave driver and we get a better ship, or better plane, I guess. The midnight oil was burned. Probably at both ends, I would suppose. <laughs> and in the morning, nobody else is there. Did they just leave or did she actually just drive them all to despair or what have you? I think we did it. We should test this thing out first. Once you're off, push the accept button to go up higher. With this, you can travel to areas you couldn't reach before. You can use the cancel button to lower your altitude. It's all up to you now. All right, so we get another, uh, another Rudy's Companions. Hey, let's watch this thing go up into, well, I guess out of the castle and into the land again. So, you know, just in case you missed it the first time, I guess you get a second chance at it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have even better wings, which can fly over mountains now. Hooray! Woohoo! Now pretty much the entire world map is open to us. We can fly wherever the crap we want and do whatever the crap we want, wherever the crap we want, whenever the crap we want. Now, there are a couple of places, actually, that we should explore now that we have the ability to do so. And the first of those is, well, just like the first of the dungeons we explored last time, right next door. Actually, right over, let's say right next door. There it is, okay. Land over here, and head over to the ancient altar. where we find another guardian. This glitter is my power. The glitter of the guardian of swords that possesses the cutting light and the power to defeat the demons. I will provide you, sorceress and fighter, the strike of Equitus. A sword strike that will sever the evil away from you. And we get the sword rune. Yay! So we've got another rune. Let's see if it actually really belongs on anybody. 
Uh, let's see, we got Jack with the life rune, and the sword rune ups his strength and attack at the expense of defense and vitality. And, and then Rudy has the Hades rune from Durastrum. Now that is a, actually a pretty strong upgrade, and it drops his sorcery, which, well, we don't care about that because Rudy is about as sorcerous as a caterpillar, so let's go ahead and give that to him for now, shall we? And actually, while I'm looking at it, let's fix some luck here. Yay! Alright, there we go. Alright, so we've got that. And there's one other place I want to show you. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it right now. I may do that off camera. But now that we've actually opened up mountains, I will also direct your attention to the area directly to the west over here, which you could not get to. Now, you see this nice long strip of desert here? I guess this actually could very well be part of the whole Guardian Blade freaking out thing that we saw earlier. And I had a, <laughs> had a debate, or a little bit of a debate with one of my listeners about just how bad this whole thing was. Uh, but you see all this up here. Now this area, of course, you cannot get to unless you have the fully upgraded Gullwing. And you head over this way, well, really either way, I guess, now, there is one thing that I will point out here, as I find a decent spot to land, and that is, just as we had with the Haya Kantons, which I've yet to show you, but I will when I'm actually strong enough, you've got an enemy that you can confront here that actually will give you the best experience in the game, or some of the best experience in the game. I think this one's tied with the Haya Kanton in regards to... The, uh, in regards to the experience that it gives you. But there is one major warning that I would put out with this. If you are going to do this, save first, please. Because this is also the area where the Golem Barbados has been dumped. So there's a very strong possibility that while you're running around trying to find this enemy, you could very well run into that thing too. And trust me when I say this, at this point in time, with my party in the mid-30s, it will eat my lunch and spit it out and then eat it up again just to gurgle it around in its mouth. So, I am not going to do this lightly. In fact, I will try to show you the enemy, but I'm going to cut away because I want to go save first. Just in case Barbados pops up and kicks my butt. Because I will show you Barbados later and we will destroy him, but not yet. So give me just a moment. Let me cut away. I will come back to the desert here or I will get to the desert whenever Barbados, not Barbados, sorry, whenever that enemy pops up. So I'm going to cut away and I will see you guys in just a moment with that enemy. Finally, we have the Acid Bunny. And this took me about, oh, around 20 something minutes of searching and one Barbados death, but here we have them. At any rate, these are probably some of the best experience giving enemies in the game. And they also carry with them a very necessary rider. They are extremely hard to go after. They are incredibly hard to hit. They are very, very fast. And I don't know if I'll be able to hit any of them, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. When you find these guys, you want to go all out immediately. You want to use, basically, attacks that hit everyone. And I've not powered up my bazooka, so this is not going to do very well. But... Well, that's not going to help anyway. Let's see. Single group, single group. All right. Well, anyway. But you want to use attacks that hit everyone. Such as, let's see. Shadow Bind is a group. That's an area. Let's do that. And then you want to use Cecilia's most powerful magic that you have, which is probably... Let's see. Let's try Lightning 2 because it hits everyone. Now, what you'll end up finding a lot of times is these enemies may very well run away before you even get the chance to hit them. So you need to be careful about trying to go after them and take them out. And unfortunately, well, I might not get a chance to actually get any of them dead. Huh, okay. So, well, we've got actually an extra chance, which is a little bit of a surprise, but I'm going to go with it. And then, let's see, let's use Blast Charge again. And then Cecilia, use Lightning 2 if I can find it. There you are. Now these guys will get the chance to run away. Come on, please don't all of them run away. Please, no. Yes, good. This one's going to stay. Uh, it doesn't matter who you hit, because I've got two others that are ready to kill you quickly. And so we can actually see this in action. Yes, there we go. Good. We got one dead. And we get 20,000 experience per person, which is 60 grand. 
And naturally, we've got to level up off of that and no money, but that's okay. So now you get to see that Acid Bunny. We will meet a similar enemy much later in the game, and you see where I am. I end up using the Come Hither spell to help me out here. So we will see another enemy like that similarly a little bit later in the game. But for now, there you are. And next time on Wild Arms, we will actually take the opportunity to go and invade the next dungeon, which is Pandemonium. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see y'all later.